guys Andrew here and welcome to Drew Tutorial and if you're new a special welcome to you now in this video I'm going to show you how to make a zip file on your Windows PC or laptop before we jump in guys would you mind take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video and on top of that the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one now let's continue what is a zip file? A zip file allows you to compress multiple files or folders into one zip file and this is going to reduce the file. So if you want to share, let's say, multiple files with someone and you don't want to send them individual files, you can easily go ahead and compress them into one folder that is zipped which is going to be reduced in size that you can easily share it. Now, as you can see here on my desktop, I have three files, right? I have a photo here and I have two folders. Now, one of these folders, let's say, I think have a bunch of files inside and I'm going to simply open it and share it here. And as you can see, the second file folder here has a few more folders and inside are a few more folders, right? Now, how do you go about zipping this and reduce it in size? And let's say put it into one zip file. Now, all you have to do is just simply highlight all of those files and if, and if they're in multiple location or spaces on your screen, for example, it looks like this and probably one is like here, you can simply go ahead and click on one of them, then press control on your keyboard and click on the second one, then click on the next one, right? Now, once you do that, you can let go from that control key and you can just right click on any one of them and simply click on compress to zip. Now, once you do that, it's going to compress all of those files into one zip file. And as you can see, it's currently making that compress of that files. Now, this is going to take some time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just allow it to do its thing and to compress that file. Now, once the file is compressed, guys, as you can see here in the upper right hand side, let me move it. You can always go ahead and rename the file so you can change it to whatever you want. So I can name this one test and as you can see i now have that new zip file that is compressed and that is consist of all of those three files as i mentioned before so you can easily go ahead and compress multiple files and folders into one zip file that you can send out to someone and that's all there is to it guys very easy and very simple here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time